Give, given the circumstances said, at play, Yogendra Yadav, would you accept that this is actually smart political maneuvering rather than being on the defensive each time every session started, each time every day started, each time there's an adjournment and then parliament would reconvene? The BJP is training its guns and attacking Rahul Gandhi instead. Now, Nasir Hussain and the Congress is having to explain whether he's anti national, whether he was asking for foreign interference or not. So they've smartly turned the narrative from defense to offense. What is smart about it, Rahul? This is old, tired and tried tactics. What Rahul Srivastava had just described to us is a perfect conspiracy, conspiracy to disrupt the parliament, not allow it to function. And when a ruling party decides that it would not allow the parliament to function, it succeeds. What is so smart about it? The real question that we should be asking on this show and other shows is, what is it that is truly causing uh, causing some sense of shame to India. Yes, India's reputation is going down and it is not because of what Rahul Gandhi or anyone else might say. It is going down because when the whole world knows that BBC documentary is being banned and BBC offices are being searched, they laugh at us. They laugh at our democracy. When the whole world knows Hindenburg report and knows that our share market regulators could do nothing about it because the Prime Minister's office had hinted them not to, they don't believe in our economy. When the whole world watches from satellite that China has occupied 2,000 kilometers, and this defense minister, who has the gumption to stand up in the parliament and demand apology from Rahul Gandhi, actually the country should be demanding an apology from this defense minister. That is when the world realizes that all these big fancy claims about being a great power are nothing. Yes, G2, uh, G2 uh, presidency, has put the spotlight on India. There's absolutely no doubt about it. Would we come out looking nice in the, this spotlight? Or would we come out looking a poor country trying to imitate the Russian formula of destroying a democracy? That is for us, uh, what we need to see. This is what causes uh, decline no, in but, country. But is that a bit much? Because in Russia, Putin never loses an election. So that's a sham democracy. In Karnataka, you know well, the Congress has a half-decent chance. In Himachal, they won. Therefore, when that charge is leveled that this is a Russia-style democracy, you know, as a political opponent, one can make that charge. But on real material assessment, that's not really true, Yogendra Yadav. Uh, Rahul, you did not hear me clearly. I said on our way to becoming Russian-style democracy. We are very much on our way. I'm very happy to hear that you at least acknowledge that Putin is not democratic. He would not believe it. And if you expect a Russian opposition leader to come to India and say Russia is the mother and father of democracy, otherwise he would be insulting Russia, this would be a joke, isn't it? I hope you would not expect a similar right. joke from Rahul Gandhi in England.